Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank my colleague, Ms. Roby, for uh, being a leader in this area. Mr. Speaker, today I rise in support of H.R. 4712, the Born Alive Abortion Survivors Protection Act. This is common sense legislation to strengthen, under penalty of law, the protection of infants who entered the world alive after attempted abortions. We agree, as my colleagues on the other side have pointed out, that an infant born alive rightly has protection under the law and is, in fact, a person. This was established by the Born Alive Infants Protection Act, signed into law by President Bush in 2002, after it was passed by voice vote in this chamber and by unanimous consent in the Senate. We need this bill because, in practice, babies fighting for their lives after an attempted abortion are being denied treatment at the hands of so-called physicians. This law affirms and protects the survivors of abortions and ensures that, just like every other baby that is born, these persons become hospital patients and receive the same medical care as any other child born in the United States, not left in the very hands of those who sought to terminate their life. This, Mr. Speaker, is an unfortunately necessary bill to ensure health care professionals comply with the Born Alive Infants Protection Act, and I urge my colleagues to vote to protect our nation's most vulnerable children and to affirm life by voting to support it. I yield back.